What's going on, YouTube? You're back with Jades, and we're going to continue our Let's Play of Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Last time we left off, we just got, uh, we, we just started experimenting with the Black Orb Mint, and now, like, we realize that it, so far, its only ability is to cancel out the energies of other Orb Mints at varying degrees, but we still have no idea what activates it, and now we're going to report to the guild, as well as go to the main Orbital Factory to figure out what we're going to do from here. But yeah, like, I've been wanting to play this game for a while now, and I have no idea um, if I've done this yet or not, but I, I think I'm back on the two-video schedule that I had, like, like at most two years ago. And I haven't done that yet, but I'm not sure if I'm doing that yet. Uh, me, put, like, a little subtitle if I've, ha if I've done that yet or not. Um, uh, but um, I know I'm planning to do that, I'm trying to prep to do that. Uh, so hopefully I've, I've been doing that as of yet. Uh, hopefully I've done that, but not yet, perhaps. Also, I'm enjoying the soundtrack of the city. Like, it's just a really smooth, jazzy feel. Good morning. That was some day yesterday, wasn't it? When you are ready, we'd like your full report on it. Business as usual, Kilika? I've heard the basics from the factory chief already. But I'd like to expand that account with some first-hand details. Well, Joshua explained the details of the Orbital Blackout. I see. So the orbit that was sent to Cassius in secret was in fact something dangerous. The guild is very interested in these developments. We need to continue working with Professor Russell for the present. We thought you'd say that. If we have more information, we'll, we'll if we have when we have more information, we'll contact you immediately. Whoopsie, I can't read today. But yeah, um, also if I if I seem tired, I kind I I, I am I like legitimately am. Um, uh, I, uh, yesterday was a workout day for me, uh, cause I'm trying to, like, lose more weight. Uh, and, uh, I tried a uh, workout that I haven't done in, like, months, and my body was completely not ready for it. So, uh, like, I, I'm just d beat. But, uh, uh, it's a slow process, so I'm trying my best. Also, I said I would do the side quests after the fact. I didn't. I should've. But hopefully I still have time to do that later. Cause I could use the money. But now we're going to talk to the chief. Or I can do that on screen. It's just two of them. So I don't think it's going to be that much time taken away. Hello? Sir? Sir? Good place of resistance all morning. Wow, that's rough. It's not like it was your fault or anything. We're very sorry, sir. We didn't mean to cause. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't apologize. These kinds of things happen when you're doing science. It happens a little bit more often around Professor Russell's ah. science, though. Moji! No barking! Speaking of the professor, has he come in already? Oh yes, he came in very early this morning, all fired up about something. He probably needs some assistance, so go up to his workshop and see him. It's on the third floor. The third floor. Let's go then. I've got a bad feeling about this. By the way, Tita. Sir? Please don't get the professor too excited. If we have a repeat of yesterday, we won't be able to do anything for a while. I understand, sir. I'll be careful. I'm not sure if you can hear my dog growling, but he is the worst when it comes to things like this. He just growls at everything. Mochi, please. He's a small dog with so much anger. A design room, workshop, and this is stairs. I guess he's in the workshop. Yep, he is. Bah, another failure. Grandpa, we came to see if we could help. Oh, hello, Tita. And you two are here as well, I see. I'm trying to remember what voice I gave him. Hehe, <laughs> what can I say? We were worried. So what are you working on? Well, you see, as, as you can see, I'm trying to cut to the black ornament. But it hasn't been going very well. What seems to be the problem? Perhaps a demonstration is in order. And click. Whoa, what is that thing? It's a circular saw. It's made of special alloy that can cut through basically anything. That ought to do it then. Uh, it stopped. I thought that might happen. It's only, it's on a smaller scale, but it's the same phenomenon as yesterday. It seems like the black orbit is blocking the functionality of other orbits, interfering them in some, interfering with them in some way. And I doubt that it was solely made for the purpose of killing the lights. Yeah. But Grandpa, doesn't the effect spread like it did last night? Yes, good thinking. And if this interference with, with nearby orbits seems to spread out, moving from orbit to orbit, like chain lightning. 
I put it at the range at about 5 arge. But if there are no orbits powered on within the range, well then, that's where the effect stops. I see, if that makes sense. However, even with that knowledge, there's no way to stop wa to know why it causes machines to simply stop without getting a look inside it. It's very troubling. Is there any way to destroy the thing? Maybe with a good scream and a hard whack? Don't be ridiculous. Did you see the big saw do exactly nothing to it just a moment ago? Well, yeah. Anyone thought of trying fire? Maybe it'd melt down in a blast furnace or something. If we did that, the insides of it would melt too. Oh yeah, well it was worth a shot. Actually, it might work! Really? You know of a way to burn it open? No, that's not what I meant. Orbital power, which drives orbits to work, can't be used for this problem. We'll have to find a way that doesn't rely on any orbital energy. Hmm, is there even such a thing? The combustion engine. It's a device that burns fuel to generate energy. The idea's been around for a long time, but it's very inefficient when compared to the orbital engine. Yeah, my world uses combustion engines. However, all you need to work them are the standard tools. Huh, neat. I get it, fire's the key. But Grandpa, I've never seen one of them. I'm pretty certain that there's one under study in central in the Central Factory Workshop. Oh, you'll need to get fuel as well. Like oil or something? No, it's called gasoline. It's extremely flammable. There's like a tank, there's likely a tank or canister of it stored in reserve. Hmm, yes, I should do the job. I'll start getting the tools ready. I'll help. Is there anything we can do? I mean, I can't do anything super tactical like Tita can. Well, you can go get the engine and the gasoline. It's going to be heavy, but your bracers should be strong enough to move it. Okay, leave it to us. So, where would we find these? Hmm? Let's see. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I forgot! He, he just said not to say that. Um, Estelle? If you look in the operations room, you could probably find them. What the heck is an operations room? It's a room with a bunch of orbital computers. It's on the fifth floor. We store all kinds of information there for safekeeping. Wow, I didn't know, even know there was such a place. Then I leave it in your capable hands. Eh, making coffee, fetching stuff. Well played, old man. Well played. Well, let's go find this operation room thingy. To the fifth floor, then. But yeah, like, this is all starting to come back to me. Like, all these feel familiar. But, like, like some of this I'm drawing a complete blank. Like, like the specific... Like, this city, I forgot it existed and I forgot what it looked like. But yeah, it just, like, all of this is, it, it was so long ago for me. I think it was back when I was in middle school, maybe. Nope, this is outside. Um, but yeah, it's been so long. It just feels real good to be back. Wow, check out this place. This has to be the operations room. Hey, you two! Haven't seen you before, so you might tell me what your business, what business you have in here? My name is Travis, Senior Engineer and Supervisor. Nice to meet you, we're with the Bracer Guild. We're here at the request of Professor Russell, so if... Professor Russell? He's not in trouble again, is he? Again? You really don't have much faith in him, do you? No, I mean, I, I realize that he's a genius. He was the one who developed the cable unit, after all. But even being acquainted with him results in no end of trouble. Tita, on the other hand, is just, is just in a sweet and... Just, is an incredibly sweet girl, just an all-around good kid. <laughs> yeah, I, I get what you mean. But I don't think we have time to stand around talking in this case. We need to find out where the central factory stores its equipment. Oh, is this what... Oh, is that what it, this is all about? In that case, go right ahead. I'll show you how it works. The cylindrical device is a type of computer. It's called a capel. These days, they mostly get used to assist in airship navigation. But this one is equipped for fa the fastest general purpose data processing in the world. So it's a computer. That's what all computers are. They're all data processors. They can be used for anything from calculating material density to information retrieval. Now for information retrieval, you have to use this front panel to select the mode. This will send the signal through the wiring, allowing you to access the memory orbit. There's a quartz inside that trains a rapid light pulse on it, you see? Then it simply extracts the data you want. So I trust you know how it works now. Yeah, I get it. Yep, no sweat. I'm impressed, Estelle. You're way better with modern tech than I am. Okay, so I lied. All this stuff went completely over my head. Well, here's the setup. The cha you change the mode with this panel. I'm sure you'll figure it out in no time. It's not that hard, Estelle. You push buttons. Or Orville Calculator. Capo System. Version 0.7.0. Copyright Z. Zeiss Central Factory. 
1197-1202. Mode, information retrieval. Memory, underscore, check. Okay. Database, accessed. Please input search term. Uh... Technical ornaments. Oh, cool! Oh, I'm not gonna read all this, Jesus Christ. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Related topics. Gasoline. Entry, gasoline. A liquid derived from the purification of naturally occur occurring hydrocarbon compound known as petroleum. Used pr primarily as fuel for combustion engines and as an industrial solvent. For public manufactured gasoline, emergency, emergency stores, 20 mid-sized tanks, repository urban, factory, fa urban manufacturing factory. Entry, combustion engine. A, ma a machine which generates usable energy by burning fuel within. Less efficient than its orbital counterpart due to issues with gaseous exhaust and noise pollution. Combustion engine, number owned, one. Owner, maintenance chief, Gustav. I'm pretty sure you can like go through all of this just to like see like 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 lore on orbals and stuff like that but i'm not gonna do that uh if you guys want to get the game for yourself and do it when you get to this point feel free looks like you found what you were looking for wow it's like a magic box or something orbital computers really are something as i understand it professor russell's teacher professor epstein was responsible for the original concept but it was professor russell's talent that made it into, into reality <sighs> if only his presence of mind run power with intelligence Ah, uh, well, Ideos doesn't want to bestow two blessings on one person. By the way, where can we find the guy who has one of those engine combustion engine thingies? The maintenance chief, right? Where is he? He's currently overseeing the airfield, so you'd have to go there to speak to him. Also, the gas is likely in orbit manufacturing in the basement. Talk to the staff there, I'm sure they'll be happy to get it for you. Maintenance chief Gustav is down at the airfield working on a combustion engine, and the gas is in the basement orbit manufacturing facility. Thanks, you've been a big help. Think nothing of it, let me know if you need anything else. It's so good that bracers are so goddamn trusted. Or a bad thing, potentially. Like, if there's a horrible bracer out there. Oops! No, I didn't mean to do that! I didn't mean to go to the roof! Uh, but, like... It's a, like... Like, the thing is, like, we we just say we're we're from the bracer guild, and he's like, Oh! Okay, cool. But, like, if you were... If we were, like, awful people, he'd be like, Oh! Okay, so I'm guessing the gasoline is somewhere here. Hello, staff member. Excuse me. What's that? What's that? May I help you? Estelle and Joshua explain the task sent to them by Professor Russell. You need gasoline? I think we have a tank of it back in storage somewhere. I'll check for you. Faye used the intercom. This is Faye. Got a request down here. We still have a tank of Calvert gasoline there in the warehouse, right? Can you send them down? Yeah, enough to carry. Thanks. They're sending some tea for you right now. Sending. Holy! There we are. So this is gasoline? So that's what sending is. Neat, isn't it? The conveyor belt system isn't just for ordering goods. It's an entire network that connects the whole facility. Convenient. Professor Russell invested it. invented it. Originally, it was just a series of tubes sending products back and forth. But the professor completely rebuilt the system into something a lot more useful. Of course, getting all the infrastructure in place was the gigantic pain in the- <laughs> I can only imagine. We have to be on our way. Thank you for your help. No problem. I don't know what you're using it for, but be careful with that gas. It has a, ten it has a tendency to- Fireball. Yeah, gas is very flammable, kids. Don't play around with it. Alright, then we have the gas. Now I have to go to the airfield. I don't even know where that is. Let's see if the, 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 the notebook has it. Oh, this is Zeiss. Here we go. Okay. It doesn't even tell us where. It just says it, the... the. Um, let's go to the first floor. I don't know where the airfield is, though. It's not the factory, I think. There's the dog again. Is, that, is it talking about the landing port? Hmm... Cause that's all the only thing I can think of when we talk about an airfield. Bartholomew, okay, never mind. Well, if I'm wrong. I'm really enjoying this music. It's very like like technical. Hi, need a flight? 
The westbound airship just departed a few moments ago. No thank you, we don't need an airship right now. Actually, we need to talk to... Gustav, was it? You mean the maintenance chief? He's not here at the moment. What do you mean, not here? He went to Layston Fortress two to three days ago. Some kind of repair emergency on a military patrol ship. Layston Fortress? As in the largest base in the Royal Army, out by Lake Valeria? Up in the north part of Zeiss? Wonderful, he won't be coming back from there anytime soon. So what do we do about the professor's request? I don't know anything about that, but actually, but actually the chief is on his way back. He just sent word to us. Oh, hey, airship! Speak of the devil. Seriously, this music is awesome! is limited but it, it was just so funny it's like landing okay slowly slowly Dunk. got it <laughs> an orange airship hold the phone since when are public airships orange no that doesn't look like a regular public airship the shape is wrong and it's got work arms all over it I feel like you mentioned it this is a century this is a century central factory vessel the Leipnitz Leipnitz it's the same model as public transports, but it's had several modifications. It's used for large-scale maintenance and transport. Huh, a flying factory. Then the maintenance chief is on that airship. That's right. That's your chance. You can talk to him, no? We'll, we, we do. Thanks a lot. Yes, thank you. Cool. Let's go on that airship, ladies and gentlemen. And those of unspecified genders. Hmm, what do you want? Um, the leap needs us a mountain of parts stored in her. It's dangerous, so stand clear. Actually, we're looking for someone. Isn't there a maintenance chief by the name of Gustav on this ship? What do you want with me? Oh, well, that's convenient. I still explained that Professor Russell had asked them to find and borrow a combustion engine. Ah, so you're running engines for Russell, are you? But a combustion engine, huh? Well, you've got good timing. I'll give you that. Huh? Hang on a second. Does he actually have one packed onto the ship? Looks like it. Here you go, it's a heavy beast though, so be careful. Combustion engine. Wow, y yow, you weren't kidding. But we, still, we can still manage to carry it. Heh, you got some spirit for you. You got some spirit to you, just for such a young girl. Ha ha ha, I like it. Ha <laughs> thanks. It's a pretty interesting little coincidence. That old fart wants this thing right after I got it back from the military. Huh? from the military. Yeah, this thing was on loan to them for a little while. They were using it for some kind of research. As a matter of fact, I only just got it back today. Huh, lucky for us. What's wrong? Huh, it's nothing. Now that we got what we need, why don't we take it back to the professor? Sure thing. Thank you, Mr. Maintenance Chief. Sure, sure, give my regards to the old man. I'm pretty sure what uh, uh, Josh was think uh, what Joshua was thinking of was like, what would the military use with a, with a power source that's not orbital related. It's not a good, it's probably not good things. Oh wait, no, I'm going this way. Because the central factory is here. Do, do, do. Uh. You're on the second floor, right? Central factory office. Nope. They're on the, Second floor, right? Or on the third floor? They might. I think the third floor. My bad. Sorry for whoever was talking to the uh, to the um, factory head. My bad. I'm sorry for interrupting. We're back, and we brought what you asked for. Excellent. Thank you. Handed over combustion engine. Handed over gasoline tank. You weren't kidding about how heavy that thing is. <laughs> yes, you're a brute strength. You're a brute strength with most useful girl. Perfect timing, too, as I've just finished preparing the tools. All this lifted to set up the engine and put gas in it. If you'll go and put on the finishing touches, Tita. Tita. Yes, sir. And it's all set. Wow, this thing is really clunky looking. And all, are all these engines like these? Yeah. It converts the energy given by burning the gas to power the tools. 
So this way they don't need orbital energy. Indeed. Now it's not Donald. Let me flip the switch. And click. Jeez, this thing sure makes a racket. It's definitely a lot louder than the orbital engines. It's one of its drawbacks, yes. But I doubt we need to fear activating the black orbit this way. Let's get this started. Gulp. Uh. Whoa! That's some serious sparkage. Okay, shut it down for now. Let's see how much physical punishment it can take, and how much punishment our ears can take as well. Let's tell the others crowded around to get a closer look. A tiny scratch is faintly visible. That... That's it? That's incredible. With such special a special... And with a special alloy saw, too. Whatever it's made of, it's tougher than anything I've ever seen. But if we keep at it, I believe this would work. We're going to go through quite a few saw blades, though. So it's going to be a real test of patience, then. Hey, Prof, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, you've already finished the modifications. Of course I have. Remember who you're talking to. I remember the voice I gave him. Anyway, what is it? Is something wrong? Remember the message I brought to you from the hotel at Elmo? The orbital powered pump that supplies the hot water for their spa is broken down. And since they can't make any money like this, they'd like for you to come and try and fix it. Ah, you must be kidding. Damn it, of all times for this to happen. If you're that busy, why don't you send another engineer over? No, that pile of junk is at least 40 years old. The young attacks have no idea what to do with anything that's not state of the art. Ah, one of the pain though. Grandpa, maybe I can go over and do the repairs, you think? Hmm? Tita? You took me there to help with maintenance before. I think it'd be fine if I just go. Hmm, you I'm sure you do a fine job on the repairs. That's not what concerns me. Agreed, there are monsters on the roads. But we can't just leave Mr. Matil Mrs. Matilda like this. If that's the problem, why don't you let us handle this? Huh? It's a brazier's duty to ensure the safety of liberals' roadways. Therefore, seeing that Tina arrives at her destination safely is our responsibility. Well, that's another story. If you're all with her, then we don't need to worry. Hmm, yes, all right, thank you. Um, are you okay with this? Don't worry about it. Kids shouldn't sweat the details so much. If you're ready, then let's go. Thank you. Thank you both. Okay, Gramps and Mr. Murdoch. We'll be back soon. Take care, dear. Be careful out there. Uh, before I do this, let's do those side quests, shall we? Um, Because typically when a new uh, chapter ends up, if you do it, the other ones disappear. So let's try doing these first. Oh, come on. Why is this one so cheap? Uh, Archives on second floor. Okay, cool. We're already here, so let's do that. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Archives. Uh, you? Nope. You. Um, excuse me? We saw your request on the bulletin board. Oh, you're here. Well, I do know that the Brazier Guild is shorthanded of late, so what can one do? Sorry, we got wrapped up in other business. Well, should we get started then? Yes, that's fine. This is about hiring the temp librarian, right? Yes, that's right. It turned out much more to be of an ordeal than expected. What kind of ordeal? I'll explain that in a moment. Beforehand, though, it's I'm a matter that I would like to help you to help settle. Consider it a favor, if you will. What kind of matter are you referring to? The archives loaned out some books to the out to the feds, various central factory departments, such as they keep them past their due date and don't pay the fees. First, let you to get our books back. That, that's simple. Where do we need to go? Let's see. There should be the third floor design room and the fourth lab and clinic. The third floor design room and fourth floor lab and clinic. Got it. Is that everything? Yes. Please come back once you have them. Okay, we will. We'll start immediately. Cool. This shouldn't be too hard to do. Third floor and fourth floor. Uh, design room. Was it the design room? Can't be the workshop because that's where Grandpa's working. I guess he. Uh, nope. Oh, your name's Prometheus. That's awesome. Oh god damn, this is a long combo. Oh there's oh we just grabbed the book. Okay, cool. Uh okay, cool. Now we're going to the fourth floor. I thought we had to talk to them to get the book. And typically it's always cutscenes that with, with quests like with fetch quests like this. 
Well, my timer just went off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna um, like quickly transition to the next episode. Um, I know it's a bit of a the slight cliffhanger, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me from the series, hit the subscribe button. And you're exiting the Shadyverse. My name is Shades, and I hope you've enjoyed. You're Dan the Shades. See you guys next time. Bye.